hello you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is courtney and for today's video we will be setting up my new bullet journal for the year 2024 well first i must say that i miss you guys so much i am so sorry for the long break i believe it's been about three weeks almost a month since i posted my last video i uploaded was my december plan with me and after that video so much happened and I was kind of forced to take a break because mentally and physically, I was just all jacked up. Let's just, just to jump into that real quick before I even get to like my normal chat with me. I told you guys in my December plan with me video that I hurt my foot and that I changed jobs. Then when I was at my job, um, my client and his family got sick with the flu. Then I got sick, but not with the flu. I just had like cold and flu symptoms, but they lasted for like two weeks. I ended up having to go to the doctor. Turns out I had like an upper respiratory infection or some type of bronchitis and they had to prescribe me a steroid and an inhaler. So your girl was really sick. Like I could barely even talk and you guys might hear me cough and kind of like, not like, I don't want to say gag or anything, but you'll hear it when I'm talking because I'm still not 100% yet, but your girl was physically sick. Like I was in bed, knocked out. I could not function, I could not move. We were not feeling it. So that's one of the reasons why I just took December as my vacay and really just kind of rest, recouped and like restored my body so I can prepare for the new year. And to segue away from the topic of sickness and all the bad things, I want to talk about some of the good things that have happened in my life recently. And for one being, of course, I'm always going to repeat it, that this channel hit 1000 subs in under a year. Like what? That is crazy. Cue the applause. Woo woo. Like I'm so excited and appreciative and i love and appreciate all you guys i've said this a million trillion times but i don't want you guys to forget and i'm gonna go into the new year with this attitude of gratefulness and positivity and humbleness but the fact that my first year of fully doing youtube and even kind of taking some breaks still i was able to reach a thousand subs and i am just so 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 grateful so thank you guys so much secondly what was I supposed to say secondly? Dang it, I forgot it because I was so grateful of everything that y'all said. What was it? Oh, yes, it's now I'm entering my second year of bullet journaling. Like, what? I've never really done a full year of consistently bullet, bullet journaling and I'm so proud of myself. I've learned so many techniques from like drawing to planning to scheduling out what a journal like what my ideal journal looks like of course I haven't found my perfect formula yet but I'm really starting to hone into what I like and don't like and just some thoughts from what I've learned after this year is to stop comparing myself to other bullet journalists because I look at other people's themes and I'm like oh my god how come I didn't do that for this month or oh like that looks so good like how come mine doesn't look as good as that and my bad for saying minds minds is not a word all my friends that are english majors and english teachers i'm sorry but i always compared my work to others and i want to go into this new year not doing that because i have a year of bullet journaling under my belt i'm not trying to, i'm not trying to say like i'm a professional or anything but that's something to show for so i want to actually focus on my work and not compare myself to others i can appreciate others works because I've seen some beautiful bullet journaling on TikTok, Instagram, and it's amazing. So I don't want to like put others down to help me like feel better. I just want to feel better point blank general. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go into the second year of bullet journaling with so much more confidence and just so many more ideas and not have the fear to try something new and worrying about the crooked lines or improper color palette like I'm really just going to try my best to do my best and produce content and produce bullet journal themes that I really like and love 
Now, before I continue to talk about my expectations and goals for 2024, I thought I'll finally take a moment to explain my theme or vibe for my 2024 bullet journal setup. So I stuck with jewel tone colors because it is winter and it is cold, so I think it's very fitting for the season that we're in. However, I still wanted to do something bright and not as dark. And then of course you guys know I love flowers, so I just did some very basic flowers that kind of look like they're stenciled, but I just freehanded them. And that's really much it. Like I wanted to keep my intro very, very simple because it's something that I won't get tired of, if that makes sense. So just jewel tone, cool. I don't know why as I'm like looking back at this as I'm doing my voiceover. It's giving very kind of like hippy dippy, which I'm not mad at. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm crazy, but yeah, it's just very cool jewel tone, hippy flower, just entering very cool, calm and collected, you know? Entering the year of 2024, cool, calm and collected. And now that we've gotten rid of like the miscellaneous pages of like the welcome page, my grid spacing sheet, and then just like my full 12 month calendar page, now it's time for like my more fun pages. So the first page, which I did last year that I really, really liked was my songs of the year. So every month I will draw a little doodle to represent the song that kind of stuck into my head. And I thought this was going to be easier said than done because I love music. But at the end of every month, looking back, it was always one song that just, I all, that was always on repeat. So I really wanted to do this again just to see how like different it goes because a lot of last year was R&B but some of it was gospel. So I thought it'd be really cute to see if maybe we switch it up for 2024 so the first um tracker page is my songs of the year
Next, we have a very popular page. This page made me very popular on TikTok, I will add. And yes, we'll be doing the dailies again and we'll be doing this on TikTok strictly and maybe on the weekends for my YouTube. But it is the year in pixels page. I never, like, I don't, I guess the best way to explain it is I didn't think that this spread would have such a big impact on me but looking back it really put into perspective that even on even during moments where I felt so bad about myself or I just felt so down or I felt that something wasn't right I had so many more good days than bad days and that just goes to show that our thoughts are just thoughts and our mind really can be playing tricks on us because there were times where I really was going through it but then I look back and I'm like, girl, you only really had like two or three really bad days last year. Everything else was actually pretty chill or just calm or the normal day to day life of like the things you go through or like your job and family and yada, yada, yada. So I brought back year in pixels. And as you guys know, it's just a basic grid sheet one through 30 or 31 for the days of the month and then on the top i label just with the initial for each month and then i have i think i have more categories this time yeah i think i do or the categories are more broad like instead of doing it based on an emotion like how i did last year i'm doing it just like how i'm ranking the day so it's kind of like a really really good day a calm day an overwhelming day a frustrated day a sick day a really really bad day because that's really kind of how I judged it last year so I'm you know tweaking it a little bit to make it more to make it work for me if that makes sense so yes it's the infamous years in pixels
Next, I am introducing a new page. Well, kind of like a revamp of it because my last year's setup, I did have a goals page and it was with my three lists, my three column list of to do, to feel, and to be. And yes, I will continue doing that three column list. However, it will carry over strictly to my monthly bullet journal setups and not for the full year. For this one, I decided to do something different and that I've seen on Pinterest and Instagram and TikTok and it is 24 goals in 2024. So I set 24 goals and aspirations that I want to accomplish for the year and I am going to try to do them. <laughs> Some are really, really easy and just are like hobbies I wanted to try and others are really, really big. So I'm not even going to show you what I write down yet because some are crazy y'all I'm not gonna lie like the 2024 we're a little bit delulu like not even delusion because I don't want to speak that on me I know I can get this done but I still I can't I can't share it with y'all yeah I, I gotta let it cook I gotta let it cook so I kept it very I kept this page very very simple and funny enough when I plot out the flowers that you guys are seeing me do um that are in the same like welcome page for 2024 I realized that they're only 23 however I do go back and I add a 24th flower at the bottom I miscounted but you guys will only see me do 23 but I do 23 flowers to kind of like zigzag across both pages and then I just use my different jewel tone Tombow brush pens to create like little blurbs that I'm gonna write my goal in a very cute simple page and I really really like it and I'm so excited to get these goals started y'all like ah, I, I just, I'm so excited Next, as you guys can tell, is a page that is already done and it is my vision board for the year 2024. As you guys have probably been hearing, if you guys are on TikTok and Instagram, you're supposed to do your vision board before the year actually starts. And I wasn't sure when I was actually going to have this video out and I didn't want to like actually do the video in real time if I was producing it maybe early 2024 so i did my vision board early and i used a gift that i got for christmas which is the hp sprocket and i love this thing so so much everything i print is automatically a sticky back so i can just put it right on the page and it's the best gift i got myself and this is my vision board for 2024. Moving on to the last page of my 2024 bullet journal setup, which is my theme for 2024. 
you know how some people have a word or a quote something that they use to represent the new year mine is let them i have been on tiktok way too much and i have discovered something called the let them theory and from what i've been able to understand from it it's releasing things that i can no longer control or, or things that i've never been able to control in the first place and i've been running myself rampant i've been running myself down we are tired of controlling things that we can't control so you know what i'm gonna let them and that is the vibe for 2024. All right, you guys, here is the final flip through of my 2024 bullet journal setup. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all my socials and have a happy 2024.